Raised in the spotlight. Been doing this since we were young. Been around the world twice. Wasn't easy, but it was fun. The fight, the love, the comedy. The comedy. Yeah, you got something better? Yeah, a Grammy. Brand, Ray, cut the crap. We should lose the fights. This family's about love. No, we're keeping the fights. Let's try it again. The fights, the love. I'm gonna know, bring the chair back down. There you go. Come on. I know, I did that earlier the other day and you, you laughed. Mom called us in for a family meeting this morning. But before we get started, I just want some girly time with her. She needs to discover that softer side within herself. And if she's not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it for her. He's so pretty, Mom. Thank you, Bree. You give me hope. If you 60-something looking like this, <clears throat> I mean, I have hope, honey. I am, are you ready now? Okay. Wait, come on, up, up, look up. All right. Okay. You look cute. Thank you. The whole purpose of calling the family meeting was to try to get Brandy and Ray to get into the mode of doing business in a way that they, they don't normally participate. It was important to make an attempt to, to get them to a place where we can all sit down and get on the same page. What's up, me? You good? You look yeah. ready, though. But you got your breakfast, yeah. bacon and egg. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Stopping to get something to eat, don't bring nobody else nothing. The whole purpose of this office space was to give you and Ray a business setting where you guys can now participate more on a business level. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your meeting. You know, I'm just, you know... Controlling it. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing that we want to talk about is a reception for the opening of the office. We what you mean, like a, yeah, yeah, sort of like, like a party? Yeah, sort of like a party. party. All right, well, you know. But we could, I Let mean, me know. you know, I'm the so, queen so of parties. How, I can so pack this place out. You the queen of parties. You know I'm the queen of parties. Don't, oh, yeah, don't are, trip, dude. Are. I throw yeah, way yeah. better parties than you. Don't even, <laughs> no, with no help, no, no invitations, you, nothing. Just a are. blast on my email, and I'll have this whole place You're the williest right there. Heck yeah. OK, so let's talk about you guys and your projects. Projects. Music projects. projects. Yeah, we, I need we you got guys to start that. thinking about that. We got that. all that. Okay. We, I meet with Rodney. And... The first album I did with Rodney Jerkins was Never Say Never, and it went five times platinum. And now he's one of the biggest music producers in the world. Our recent work that we've done together, which was my last album called Human, was not successful. And since then, our relationship has been kind of shaky. You are talented. You can sing your ass no off, doubt. dude. And to me, Rodney Jerkins better give you his best work because he did not give me his best work on human. Wait a minute. I didn't even realize it was still a big deal with B and Rodney like that. I didn't even know. And that's all I got to say. He better bring it on this album or you tell him to kick rocks with an open no, toe shoe. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> kick rocks with an open Brand. toe shoe. I'm serious. <laughs> Uh, there are other things that we need yeah, to talk about. A couple of things that's happening this I'm week we need to talk about. Shoot. We need to address one is uh, Brandy's performance with Timberland. Timberland is one of the most successful producers in today's game. He's one of my favorites, and there is a chance that he's going to be producing my next album, but that deal is not yet locked down, but I'm really looking forward to it. Are we going to sign with Timberland or what? Like, let's really, like, decide what I that's going to no. be. Timberland, yes. I agree. Listen, I agree. You about to do the show with Tim, right? That's what you do. Oh. It's cold, I know. Just talk to Timberland, and then after that, let's come back and let's talk about it again. But don't just X Tim out like that. He really loves B, and he cares he does. about the project. And, and he, he really wanted to work with her and everything. He was but the we only just one. He was the only one out of anybody that supported Brandy when she wanted to rap. He opened his album up for Brand, and he let her be creative on his joint. And we and appreciate so we should that, respect right? that yeah. And we give do. him a little bit of time. Talk to Tim and say, look, we not moving without you, but you know we gotta move. Let's move forward. Let's, let's stay it. focused. Yep. Let's work hard. Right. Let's, let's make it. all this stuff happen like, let's do like it. we let's can. Have That's the final okay. statement, Pops. All right. Okay. R&B on three. One, One two, two, three. R&B. That Beautiful. is so corny. <laughs> what are you up to tomorrow? Um, I don't know. 
Whatever you want to be up to. You had a meeting with Rodney. Oh, yeah, no, I got to, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even front. I feel a little weird about that. It's Come still, on, B. You it's got still it. <laughs> like it is still bothering me. Like I listen. B, stop it. Are you for real? I'm so serious, Come dude. On, like man. I'm not. I'm not playing. Like I feel like some of the things that has happened between me and Rodney has been personal. The last album, Human, how he didn't put his all into that album. That was a personal thing for me. So I just want to make sure he, why you, you don't think going he... into this deal with him. And, and going into the studio with him, that you make sure he gives you the best, you know I'm the best get, work. You know what kind of music me and Rodney make. Why would you want to take that away from me? I'm not I'm tra trying to take that away so from you, but this is the thing. About that. You know what kind of chemistry Rodney and I have, too. Absolutely. But on some personal issues, yeah. he doesn't deliver. All we want to do is tell a story to the world. Then tell the story right. That's all I'm saying. Because I don't want the same thing that happened to me to happen to you. That's all I'm saying. I can get over the fact that you're working with Rodney. And I know one of these days, I don't know when, me and Rodney will be cool. But I'm saying to you, if he's not going to give you the best work and the best album, it's no need to do a deal with him. I I'm shocked at how over the top Brandy is about this. Rodney and Brandy have Grammys, sold over 10 million albums together. This is brand new to me, and it's not making any sense to me right now, and I'm trying to understand. Come on, Ryan, come in. You can hear this because you were part of this deal, too. I'm just saying to you, I don't want Rodney to do Listen. the same thing that he did to me to Ray, which was go in purposefully and not do his best. Yeah, but you, Brandy and Rodney has had the greatest chemistry together, and I think that that's worth it's some, some of the best conversation. music in history. One of the biggest records you of know, all I, time. I, I, I think that's worth mending a relationship, business-wise. Personally, also, whatever y'all feel, that's something else. But and I business, think it's worth taking another shot at changing the sound of music again. Yeah, I do. I'll think about it. Meet the journey. This whole Rodney Jerkins thing really weighs me down. Well, don't, don't feel bitter about it, Brad. I don't like arguing with my brother. Like, that stresses me out. So I send Shay a text, because I want to get things off my chest of what happened. I love you, B. All right. Shay's always there for me. You know, she really knows how to put things into perspective. And besides, she has something that she wants to talk to me about, so we decided to go get some fresh air and go on a hike and have girl talk. When we're done with this trail, our butts are gonna look amazing. Why are you walking like you're on a catwalk? Like I am? You're, you're switching, you're throwing your hips. So now that I'm out okay, here- Okay, listen, we gotta challenge ourselves. Okay, ready? On your mark, go all the way up, Shay. All the way up, got you. On your mark, get set, go. Woo! You go, girl! I'm coming! Walking up the hill, I realized after three minutes, Runyon Canyon was a terrible idea. I'd never known that LA had this other than like shopping and smog and valet parking. Who knew? You know? Shopping, smog, and valet parking. Now that I'm here, it's weird to be back and I feel like I'm starting over, like all over again. Like I wanna, I wanna start a new career. I want to like. Really? I do. Like, if I'm going to be. What do you want to do? I was talking to your mom a few days ago, and she had mentioned like certain things and qualities that she saw in me. And so I started thinking, like, you know, maybe I could be like a really good manager. You could definitely be a good manager. But like, why? What makes you want to be a manager, though? Like, with everybody, I'm always the one that makes things happen. I'm the ones that make the calls, and if I gotta cuss somebody out, I'm gonna cuss them out. If I gotta go hard, I'm gonna go hard. And I just really think that for my personality, it's a good fit. I mm -hmm. think I would do well. You feel and like you're like a take care of type of person. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take charge and take care yeah. of. I'm a leader. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm great at it, but I'm willing to try. You're great at it, because you, you've already been sort of like a manager. You've already been like in charge of people in the corporate world. Yeah, I remember I'm in you, charge of folks. Yeah, you in charge of folks, mm -hmm. hiring and firing people. I will honey. fire somebody, In job. a minute, honey. In a hot minute. I mean, wh you, what? You want to get fired? That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm not fire. Wow. I want to find something when I, I just wake up, I love what I do, and something that I'm good at and my personality could be used. Mm-hmm. Do you okay. think your mom would, like, take me serious totally. and, like, really do it? Be, well? be good. Yeah, I'm going to call her. Like, I think, call her. Call her. Call her. I don't have my phone. You're in luck? I've got my handy black When did you get a black bear? Listen, honey, I was keeping my phone. The new phone. one. Well, you know, I had to upgrade, honey. LA, you gotta have the finer things in life. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Mom, it's me. Um, Shay and I just decided to sit down and have a conversation just about her really wanting to um, work with you, just being a manager. And yeah, I think it'd be good for you guys to sit down and talk. Okay. All right, I love you. I love you too, Sonia. Okay. All right, bye. What did she say? She said she's gonna think about it. She actually sounds like she likes the idea. Score. We're business partners. Please, I need to leave the this bugs. place. The bugs too much? Yeah, the bugs are crazy. They are not that bad. Bugs are too much. You didn't finish telling me about what happened with you and Ray. Ray and I kind of got into it. Oh, no. Which is hardly ever. Why? Just over the whole Rodney thing. Yeah, so that's the thing is that sometimes you have to separate the business from the emotion. I know, yeah. and I'm having, I'm having a difficult time doing that. So I need to work on just not being so emotional, but it's so hard because everything is pretty much from my heart, you know? You're an emotional person, but it doesn't yes. come from a bad place. So. No, it doesn't. You would think by, you know, 30, I would know that. You're 31. Um, and maybe I should talk to Rodney, you know what I mean? I think you should. Like, I mean, just clear the air, and it'll give you guys a chance to both get whatever's on your chest off your chest, and then when you're done, you're done. Right. And that's that. And then you can lock it, leave it, and move on. Right. You know? And I think it's important that you have closure and then move forward. Right. So Ryan and I, we headed over to Rodney's studio. I'm not going to even mention anything about the Brandy thing to Rodney because we have a wonderful thing going on, and I don't want to mess that up. Rodney Jerkins is one of the biggest producers ever. Not only did he produce my sister's album, he also produced Michael Jackson's album, Whitney Houston's album, Celine Dion, Britney Spears, NSYNC. So I've always wanted to get in the studio and do a whole album with Rodney Jerkins because now I know we can take it to the next level. Sky is not the limit with Ray J, Rodney, and the Norwood family. We're gonna go, we're gonna have the mids, we're gonna have the ballads, we're gonna have the ups, we're gonna yeah. do, we're gonna have a classic. That's the, yeah, you know, man. we're gonna be musical. Yeah, we got to, man. I'm, I'm, I'm amped. I'm amped. We starting soon, right? At whenever you ready. You know, yeah. Getting ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm amped, man. I'm amped. You know, I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is the biggest opportunity yet for me in music because now it's time for me to drop an album that impacts the world. And I know for sure Rodney Jerkins and I together can deliver. This is real good. I'm, I'm excited about this, and I think if the business stays over here and, and our creative is moving, yeah. we're gonna be straight. We're gonna make that work. Yeah. And I know when we put this stuff together, it's gonna be crazy. Like with me, you got Ryan, I got uh, moms is gonna be in the forefront. Okay, ho. What you, what you mean? What you mean moms is in the in the forefront? If I'm if if me and you knocking out the creative and then moms, you know, from our end could still, you know, be pushing the business and, you know, staying in touch with everybody and making sure things move right from our end. That's, that was, that was my vision. Yeah, yeah. all right, wait, let me, let me, let me. All right, so listen. Me being part of this project is important that, you know, I'm able to lead us in the right direction. When it comes to us to take the music and go to the record companies and go to the executives in charge, I can't have your mom in the forefront. From all the meetings that I've taken already, everybody like, we love Ray J, we love Ray J. Yo, Sonya's involved, Sonya's involved, they, they like this. When it comes to us to go to the record companies, I can't have your mom in the forefront. So I'm in a meeting with Rodney right now. We coming up with the plan and how we gonna structure the album. And then he tells me that he doesn't want to work with Sonya. From all the meetings that I've taken already, everyone said the same thing, like, yo, Sonya's involved, Sonya's involved. I'm like, they, they like this, for real. All right, going into the meeting, like, I'm thinking Ray J and Rodney, we cool. The only thing I'm gonna have to probably deal with is the Brandy Rodney situation coming up. I had no clue that I was gonna have to deal with the Rodney Sonya situation. If she's involved, then we not, we not, we not doing nothing with this. And so that puts me in a weird place because 
I got relationships that I bank on. Yeah. And yeah. I got family. I got kids to feed now. No I got I got a wife. I got a house. No doubt. You feel what I'm no saying? Doubt. Like, I respect Sonya. I think she's a genius. I, I remember her being on the phones for One Wish. And, and no I, being, I remember yeah, going she, to the house and seeing her. She on was the, pushing her joint with us. I, I understand it. She, she gets the hustle. She understands that. But as far as what we're trying to do and where we're trying to go, that needs to be addressed. I'm ready. I got the music to play for you. I got no some doubt. tracks. No we doubt. ready to go, but we have have to go in this together. It's, it's, it's RJ and RJ, it's Ray J and Rodney. You ain't, we gotta go together. We gotta work this out. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't wanna just quickly, like, okay, my mom's out of here. Because I don't roll like that. Like, I'm super loyal to the camp. I just wanna make sure that we can all come to an agreement together where Rodney and I can still move forward and my team and his team is still happy. Like, yeah. my thing is to have Ray J do a real album. And I know Sonya wants the same thing. I'm done. I can't do it. I yeah. just can't. I can't risk my relationships based on, because when I talk to the people, I'm, I'm selling it on us. And I know what the response was, so that's what it got to be. Oh my hot? goodness, this is so nice. This is hot, and it's, you know, of course it looks better, but I don't know what they're doing Why in the studio. Why are there only two fish? <laughs> I know, the bowl. <laughs> I brought Shay to the office today so she can talk to my mom about working with r Productions, and I think it's gonna go quite well. So this is my oh. office. Ah, I love it! <laughs> Look at my office! I mean, your office. <laughs> get off of Twitter. But I wasn't following oh, Serena. Okay, but get off of Twitter. Can How I'm you Shay. doing, Shay? Hi. This is what I think Hi, should happen, Ma. This is what I think should happen. I think we should put, like, I can have a smaller desk over here, or, you know, we can get me a lounge over here. I don't want to share office No, 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 ready. no. I get a lounge no. to the right, you know, table, no. coffee cups, and shake and have a desk. But I'm going to need me a little couch or whatever right here, and I can be on my laptop, because, come on, let's be serious. Am I really going to do some work Exactly. Over here? I think this, this is um, such a beautiful view. Sonia, Sonia, this per office is perfect for me. You can keep these up, but I need some pictures of me in here. No. I want to work for you, Sonia. I can do this. Then you it know. would be an honor to work with such an esteemed, <laughs> look, woman in the business. I know I'll be, uh-oh, you about to get me already? Oh, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. I'm like, help me, help me, Jesus. First of all, I like Shay. You know, she's very energetic. Uh, she's very intelligent. And I know that Shay could be a very big asset to uh, some of the projects that we're doing. And I would love to keep her around. First of all, I realize that you've come from the corporate world, you got all these degrees and everything, and that's all great. But you will have to start from the bottom up. What's now, the bottom? Shay, as with anyone her age, has a lot to learn. No, Shay, Monday morning. When you say morning, you mean Monday, like 11.30? 11, 10 o'clock. 10? Right here. I got a job! Mom, Shay. Yeah, I think Shay has the right attitude for this job. We're having a reception tomorrow night. Can you bring a few guests? Can I bring some menses? Are you serious? I mean, I'm just saying. Please don't bring that dude from Long Beach. Wow. <laughs> Did you just do the that? The rapper from Long Beach. <laughs> Good job. Leave you. him where he <laughs> Leave him where he sits. Is the turkey burger good? It's very good. Let me get the turkey burger. All right. Rodney has some, some concerns, man. I know what he was saying. Yeah. We all know what he was saying. You know, mom's just gonna be upset. Sonya really loves to be in the forefront of stuff. She wants to, cause she just, she just wants to protect and make sure everything is right. I am a little uncomfortable in telling my mom this because I know how passionate she is about my projects and I don't want to hurt her feelings. I want my mom around on this project but she has to let me be in the forefront. Also, you gotta tell Brandy to calm down and be just nice and cool and be professional in that office that we in. We'll be good, because she understands the business side too. Even though Brandy gets emotional about certain things, we'll be good. So how you wanna handle the Sonya situation? You gonna sit down, talk to her about it? You want me to be there? Or you kinda wanna do it alone? Like, I don't know what the hell she gonna do. I'm gonna talk to her though.
Ryan? What's up? I don't want to sit here. <sighs> well, listen, you got to start somewhere. No, Ryan, <laughs> I went to college, and I'm not the receptionist. Now, I'm going to look at your office because I want to change some things when I move in here. I bet you do. And I'm thinking that this color is a little drab for me, so I'm going to brighten it up some. Is that My right? picture's going to go right against this wall. Just take a seat. Take a seat Let and me see, see what how it I feels look. like. Yeah. See what it feels like. How does it feel? Yeah. Whoa, wait. <sighs> How does that feel to you? It feels good? Mm, it feels like my office. <laughs> I think that's Ryan's job. I'm just saying. He does plants and fish. Clearly, that's why all the fish are dead. For the dead homies. May you rest in peace, Mr. Fish. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I got the fish, Mr. <laughs> I am a little uncomfortable in telling my mom this because I don't want to hurt her feelings, first off. Mama! <laughs> and I don't want her to think that I don't want her still working with me on this project. What's up, Ray? I had a meeting with Rodney. And? And we talked about it. Mm hmm And, you know, I always keep it straight up. Yeah. With you and with anybody. And before I even go into it, I'm loyal to the team. You know that. You know I've always been loyal. I never tried to go outside of the box, and I never will go outside of the box. But I, I talked to Rodney, and Rodney was saying that he, he, he he's excited about doing it. You know, he, of course, we had a lot of success with One Wish, you know, and he, he wants to partner up, but he wanted to make sure that the creativity was he wanted to make, because I'm trying to say it, the, I'm trying to say it just right. Just say it. Huh? Just say it. I'm trying to say it right. No, don't say it right. Just say it. That, he said he reached out to, you know, a few labels, and they were excited about working, but they had some concerns about working with you. What? I'm loyal to the team. But I, I talked to Rodney, and Rodney was saying that he, he, he he's excited about doing it, you know, but they had some concerns about working with you. What? They wanted to know where, where, where that was at. Rodney was excited about doing it, you know, but he wants to make sure that the creativity doesn't get overshadowed by you and, you know, by the business. I don't want to make it seem like Rodney doesn't want to work with you, or it, this whole thing is pending on if you gonna work with me, because he knows for sure that I'm not budging without my mom being in the picture. You know, my mom has my back more than anybody, no matter what the situation is. Like, my mom's gonna be in this deal, it's just she's gonna play more of the background. Rodney has to respect that. Creativity is something I've never dived into when you guys do your projects. I never come to the studio. I never, I wait for the music to be played to me. I don't ever ask for nothing. Why is it that it always bother people when it's business time? They don't want to deal with me. Or they, they don't want me to get involved. Or they rather deal with somebody else. My whole thing is I can very easily get along with anybody as long as you fare. If you, if you want to play hardball, I'll play. I know I have a reputation as a tough businesswoman, and I'm not surprised by what Rodney has said. If you don't want to work with me, I'm cool with that. I probably don't want to work with you either. I would rather be considered a tough business person than someone that you can walk over, disrespect, misuse, and abuse. Look, you have stepped to the plate, Ray. You know, and I, I have to say, I'm so very proud, because somehow or another, all of these independent projects that we've done together, you know, have rubbed off on you in the business aspect where you've gone out and you've been hustling. 
I think it's the greatest thing for you and Rodney to work together. So you got to do what's in your best interest. I thought my mom would react way more over the top than she did. But you know what? That's my mom, and I know my mom has my back. You are my third eye. <laughs> Okay. If Rodney doesn't want to deal with me in the forefront, I'm cool with that. I love you, Ray. I've been really thinking about the Rodney situation, so I sent him a text and asked if I could go and meet with him to talk to him about the situation. I just want to clear the air with Rodney so him and Ray can work in a good place, and I just think it's the best thing for me to do. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. What's poppin'? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. That's what it is. I like your haircut, it's cute. Thanks. It's your first time in, in the building? Um, it's my first time since it's become like the Dark Child studio. That's not good. It's not good, but um But yeah, but well, it's I just popping. I just came to talk to you just about like my brother. Rodney and I start talking and my heart is beating so fast because we haven't really talked in depth since the last album. So this is um this is gonna be interesting. And I just wanna make sure he gets the best Rodney that you are, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I kinda feel like on my last album, I didn't get that. How do you feel like that? It wasn't as like creative and forthcoming as, as the other projects. Like we've always had the chemistry but, uh, with, uh, that's with anybody. My, that's my fault? I'm not totally blaming that so on you. So you're saying that I wasn't 100% focused on the B Rocker project. Not like how you have been in the so past. Was you, oh, so was you focused on the B Rocker, Dark Child, creative creativity that we always had? Was you focused on that? I believe. Because I don't feel like th that you was. At that time, you know, just coming back to the game and getting the, the, the second chance to put my music out there, I probably, my focus was probably all over the place because it was all about you know, winning, and it was all about getting that that second chance to put my music out there. Right, but so, because the way um, I see it, all right, I'm gonna give you my view on it. I'm okay. gonna give you my view on it. I need a glasses. I can't see your eyes. That's all right. But let me give you my view on it. The difference that I saw in the last record, for my eyes, is that Brandy wasn't there. I had a studio, but one day it's like, oh yeah, I'm in. I'm I'm over here at Boom Boom Room with Black Elvis. Or I'm about to go in so and so studio with Brian Kennedy because well, the, I, I, the brandy that I had on Never Say Never Full Moon was like, yo, I rocks with Dark Child and that's what it's gonna be. I, I can see how you can how you can see it that way, but in in my defense, like I just have to just say it because every time you've decided to work with me again, I've dropped everybody, and you know I have. Except for the last time. Except for the last time. Last time you, I told you, you was at Boom Boom Room, you was at this. You didn't let me get in the way I wanted to get in. And you know and, what? And you know and, why? And, 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 I, and I, I can understand because the Because I felt like I didn't have... I can understand I did not have the power to do that. And right. although I did have it, remember, I didn't exercise but it. But if you remember, Rocker, you chose to go with Epic. That was a brandy choice. We didn't and do you it, know why? We didn't do it That together. was the only... That was... You were, and you were not really offering me anything at the time. You you were Man, not. We talked in 03 or 04 about doing stuff, but you, y'all, you know I sat how with your up mom. and down you are. I sat about with your things. mom and I told her, I was like, I'm, I don't want to be just some hired producer anymore. That's not my thing. I don't want, I don't want to do that no more. And you didn't want that commitment to me, right? Let me tell you something, Rodney. Yeah. You need to know this about me. I didn't believe and what we had. I didn't believe in it. It wasn't our best. It wasn't the same Rodney and Brandy. And I, I can tell that that bothered you a little bit. You know how we get jealous of each other when we work with other people. It's just some, I get jealous, you get jealous, it's whatever. I mean, we're married in music, it's just what it is. That's funny. <laughs> I, 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 I respect that. I mean, it is what it is, I respect that. I appreciate you coming over here and, and, and sitting down and having this conversation. I believe you. I think as far as feelings, it's resolved. 
But Rodney and I will always have unresolved issues until we get back in the studio. Have a good day. Me too. Rodney and I can't make up in words. We have to make up in music. Can you swing by our r b production party tonight? We're kicking it off, like, in our new offices and stuff. Yeah, all right, I, I'm gonna come through. Ray would love to see you, too. OK, cool. OK, my mom. All right, thank you. Everything is good. Yeah. Ray J had a conversation with Rodney. His mm. concern is same old, same old. Don't want to work with mom. Mom can't be in the forefront. You know what I got to say about that? To everyone what? who feels like that. What? So what? And too bad. Well, they don't know you. No, they don't know me. No, they don't. The way that I see it, I am a very straight up person. When you don't want to work with me, you obviously got something to hide. I remember back in the day, all the person had to do with, to be a manager was to get a beeper on their belt and a cell phone, you know, because back then, if you had a cell phone, you were big time. So they'd be walking around, you know, rocking around, talking, you know, yeah, mm. yeah, like, like, like they're doing deals mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then Funny. along come you, and you like nonsense, you doing things straight, business, straight up business, not all that, that janky stuff that they be doing. Then when you start doing straight up business, they didn't like you. I am, I am going to be a mother hen until they bury me six feet under. I mm -hmm. am their mother. And when I became their mother, I became their mother for life. I think that's a good thing. Did I lose a few because people didn't want to work with me? Of course I did. Now mm -hmm. I'm at a point where I want to retire. I'm headed for the retirement. Let's I don't want to. I don't want to be in this business forever. This is the most raunchiest business that exists on the face of the earth. There are people in this business who, whose purpose is to exploit people. Right. That's, That's their primary purpose. There are mm -hmm. people in this business to squeeze you for what they can do right now, and they don't give a heck of where you are right. next year. So don't think everybody hates you. No, everybody exactly. don't but, uh, hate I, you, and everybody don't, don't, don't put you down, because it's a lot of parents feel just like you feel. Probably so, and I hope so. I will let go to some degree but there is no life for me without Brandon Ray. That's what you got to understand. I, they, they keep the blood flowing for me. Say, for instance, if somebody gave Ray J a choice or Brandy a choice, said, look, here's X amount of money. This is the deal. We can make this happen for you right now. This yeah. is, this is, we can make this happen, but we can't. You have to. Get rid of your mama. We can't deal with your mama. So what choice you think they're going to make now? Uh, in some cases, they've made some choices without their mom. But, uh, Look, no, but, but how did it make how you feel? You, I, this is a mm, glory. Okay. Listen, this is a glorious. This is a glorious situation because now I finally get to see a test to see whether what I've taught Ray works. To see if he's learned what I've taught him, and if he has, guess what? I can begin to slide away a little bit more now. What? What? Promise me something. When you, what? When you? When we go to the? Uh, when we go to the? the office party too. Yeah. That you let them shine. You too, you just got, you, you just jump. Let them, just let them shine. Right. Let them shine. No. Let them shine. No, right. see, I, don't play with me. <laughs> Come on. I'll see you at the cocktail party. I'm uh -huh. going to get dressed. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Bob? Hey. You see Joy, Mama? Yeah, yeah. I'm Joy. The cocktail party, it was crazy. Everybody is there. All of my friends are there, Ray's friends. It was just good to see how everybody responded to the office space. And I felt the potential of R&B that night, definitely. God, you are handsome. All of a sudden, this big dude walks in, and it's Jamal Brown from the New Orleans Saints. He went to the Super Bowl, and they won it. That's a plus, you know, has his own thing, you know, going on. He doesn't need me for anything, you know, that's always good. This is the studio. This is where I need to be at. 
You rap? Yeah, no, nah, a little bit, though. I rap, too. I can rap See, better than you, though. No, I don't think you can. Yeah, I can. I, I really don't. I don't, I don't want to have to embarrass you. You're going to the Super Bowl and everything. Let's just keep oh, the excitement, the you know? Let's see what the look like. <laughs> Um, a while back, Flo invited me to the Grammys, and it didn't happen because of business reasons. And, you know, I kind of felt down about it, but now I'm being open to even letting somebody take me to lunch. So Jamal, he seemed like a really nice guy, and he's a big dude. I kind of like big dudes, like Paul, you know, big dudes. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I'm giving you my number too quick. Just because oh, you, you play for the Saints don't mean are. that you can have my... No, no, wait, I'm a wait, good wait. boy, though. You a good, yeah, that's what they all say. What's up, big homie? Good. Thanks for coming. Man. Don't have me in here. You know, I heard Brandy talk to Rodney, and everything's supposed to be cool. Hey! Sonya! What's up, Oh, Rodney? no. <laughs> Sonya, Sonya. What's up, Sonya? Oh, everything and nothing. For the time being, everything is cool with Brandy, Moms, and Rodney. I'm, I'm happy. It's feel better in my shit, man. It's hot in there. <sighs> How did it go to be? It went well. It did? Okay. Like I told you, I respect Brand. I respect the mom, I respect the whole, the whole Noah family. But I know this project is about you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I think the thing I need from you, though, mm -hmm. is I need to know that the focus is really there. Like, I, I feel it. Like, I feel a passion. I feel like you got the confidence. You know, I just feel like, Playtime got to be over. You know, you had the girls and the, the, the life of a, of a young baller. You got that. But when it comes to being in that studio, you got to be focused. Like, for real. Like, I don't need to get, I don't want to pick up the phone and you like, yo, RJ, I can't make it and I got to go to this club. And I know no you got to get your money. No doubt. But I'm serious about this and I need you to be serious. Nah, I appreciate you. Absolutely. For real. All right. You know what I mean? All right. Let's go. All right. Please. So first of all, I you know I would like to personally thank all of you for coming out tonight because obviously you guys are all special to us because you got a personal invitation to come out and we are a family. Secondly, I want to introduce to you two people that I love dearly. You have known them by television, by radio. You like these aren't our friends. friends. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let me finish. Go Let me just finish. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that tonight they are free on their own to do their own thing. But don't get it twisted. Oh my I'm God. not far. Okay, I'm not far. Okay, I'm not far. Actually, you're right down the way. I'm right down the way. Okay. All right. So that's all I got to say. I, we're gonna make this 2010 R&B production. Yes. We're gonna branch out and we're gonna do our thing and we invite you to come to us. We know how to do it because that's who we are. Apple juice is in the air. That's right. Our friends. That's well, right. Okay. We've been a family doing business with each other. I say as long as we've been a family. That's not new. What's new is, it's our children now that's taking the lead and shaping the future of our family. And I'd say that future is in good hands. Raised in the spotlight. Been doing this since we were young. Been around the world twice. Wasn't easy, but it was fun. The fight, the love, the comedy.